In 1974, Jeff Lowe and Mike Weiss attempted the first ascent of a 400-foot frozen waterfall in Telluride, Colorado. It looked completely impossible, but it was so beautiful that we decided to try it anyway. The climbing was very gymnastic, and they struggled with each pitch. Mike led the crux pitch, which included a three-foot roof with icicles hanging from the lip. During the climb, they encountered an ice cave. The inside of the cave was just like a, uh, a little grotto. There's stalactites hanging from the ceiling, but they're all translucent. The first ascent of Bridevelle Falls was a landmark in the sport of waterfall ice climbing and led to greater achievements in the high mountains. Bridevelle opened the door to a whole world of ice climbing that we never knew had existed before. The original footage for this ascent has never been released. Shot by award-winning cinematographer Greg Lowe, this film preserves the culture and legacy of this classic climb. Arctic Wolf Productions presents an Arctic Wolf classic climb with Jeff Lowe, Bridal Bell was a landmark personally and for the sport of ice climbing, and Mike Weiss. Mike said it was a desperate lead and that after all these years, it's one of his best memories of climbing. Bridal Falls, the first ascent. In 1984, Jeff Lowe and Mark Wilford set out to climb Moose's Tooth in the Yukon Territory. Hey, Mark. Got me? Got me on the way. All right, I'm on my way. Their struggle for the summit was met with challenging conditions. It's snowing for four days now. Thought this was supposed to be summertime. As soon as it clears, it'll be, we could start climbing that afternoon. But for Jeff and Mark, there's more to climbing than just summits. Climbing takes your emotions, takes your, your spirit, punishes you, it tortures you. What it does is it puts your mind in such control of your body that you can't make a mistake. Winner of the 1985 Banff Festival of Mountain Films, Cloudwalker reveals the formative philosophies behind two American alpinists. Arctic Wolf Productions presents an Arctic Wolf classic climb with Jeff Lowe, for me, the direct experience is the reason why I go to the mountains. And Mark Wilford. <laughs> Cloudwalker. Hi, I'm Jeff Lowe, and uh, I'm here to introduce you to the world of waterfall ice climbing. From equipment to technique, this three-hour instructional video covers the basics of waterfall ice climbing. This is the first video in Jeff Lowe's climbing technique series. Waterfall ice takes you through six parts of instruction. Part one deals with equipment. The standard configuration of pick for waterfall climbing these days is the reverse curve. And the most important uh, part of this configuration is that as you climb above it and you want to remove it as you pull it out like this it rides upward on this smooth section and comes out. Part two is an introduction to water ice grades one through four. A common tendency is to want to try and edge your crampons in the ice with your teeth or something. Yeah. And that's a dangerous thing to do because the ice wants to fracture out under your crampons like that and, and you can break it out that way. So that's why flat foot technique is to get all your points into the ice. Part three is advanced waterfall ice technique, above grade five. I'm feeling a little apprehensive pulling on this thing. Yeah, it's uh, pretty thin, isn't it? Yeah. Parts four and five explore grade seven water ice. Part six goes beyond technique. Arctic Wolf Productions presents Jeff Lowe's Climbing Techniques with Jeff Lowe. But there's a lot of technique involved in it that uh, I think makes it a very enjoyable sport. And Bird Lou. 
waterfall lights. Hello, I'm Jeff Lowe. Welcome to the Alpine Zone. This is the second video on Jeff Lowe's climbing technique series. A look at ice climbing across the alpine environment. This two hour instructional video covers equipment, techniques, and ice conditions. In part one, Jeff Lowe guides Terry Abel through snow school in the Colorado Rockies. And then roll towards the head, like that. Controlling that spike so it doesn't dig into the snow. Ah. Then in part two, Jeff and Terry discuss glacier travel while climbing in the North Cascades. Travel on glaciers can be done safely. However, you have to use the correct techniques. By careful route finding, it's usually possible to avoid falling into crevasses in the first place. But if somebody does fall in, you should be able to get yourself or partner out. Then in part three, the equipment and technique needed to climb alpine ice is introduced in the Teton Mountains. Basically, that you want a little flexibility in the cramp on itself for walking on glaciers and alpine ice climbing. Uh, many uh, crampons for waterfall ice are completely rigid. It's not necessary for uh, alpine ice. And in part four, Jeff and Terry use these skills and techniques as they climb throughout North America. Arctic Wolf Productions presents Jeff Lowe's Climbing Techniques with Jeff Lowe and Terry Abel. Alpine Ice. In 1974, Jeff Lowe and Mike Weiss attempted the first ascent of a 400-foot frozen waterfall in Telluride, Colorado. It looked completely impossible, but it was so beautiful that we decided to try it anyway. The climbing was very gymnastic, and they struggled with each pitch. Mike led the crux pitch, which included a three-foot roof.